The present world is developing and improving its technology. All the technology and the growth is coming from IT and software. The main reason behind IT and software is coding and programming. These coding and programming skills hold a key in developing all those technologies. Hey everyone, welcome to yet another exciting video from Simply Learn. In this session, we will be discussing coding for beginners. However, before we begin the session, make sure that you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and don't forget to click that bell icon so you can never miss an update from Simply Learn. Let's look at the agenda for today's topic. First, we will begin with learning what is coding. Then, we shall discuss why one should learn coding. Then, we will walk through which language we should learn first. After that, we will discuss some basic examples and codes. After that, we will learn and discuss the best websites to learn coding. Followed by that, we will go through some tips to improve coding. And finally, we will wind up the session by discussing jobs to be expected on coding. So without further ado, let's get started with our first topic in this session. What is coding? Computers do not understand the human language. So, we must use some languages for communication that require coding to communicate with the computer. Coding is the best way of passing and translating the instructions for communication with a computer. It is used to program and design websites, applications and lot other technologies. Coding tells the computer which action should pass and instructs the computer what to do and how to do it using some programming languages. Now, let's have a look at why one should learn coding. The present world is dealing with a large number of applications. The growth and demand for software is increasing rapidly at present. Most of the applications and technologies are dependent on coding and programming. The applications and every implementation is developed using coding and are helpful in every sector and provide solutions even for complex problems. Learning coding also has a huge demand and impact on career growth. Most of the jobs at present are from software and IT and these skills help get a job quite easily. Learning to code helps to improve communication and collaboration skills. Learning to code enhances technical skills and give you a new way to approach the work. These are a few reasons why one should learn coding. Now, let's have a look at which language to start with. There are many coding and programming languages available in the modern generation like C, C++, Python and Java. Every coding and programming language has unique features. When we are ready to learn anything, we have to know the basics of the concepts. When it comes to programming, the basic language and the platform is C. It covers some basic concepts of the programming languages and helps to have a good base for getting more knowledge on coding. Once you understand the concepts and basics of C, then it will be helpful for you to learn other coding and programming languages. C programming covers all the major topics like data types, storage classes, operators, functions, memory management, file handling and many others. It is easy and possible to learn other coding and programming languages once you have good command and good skills in the C language. Now, let's have a look at basic examples and codes. Before being ready to implement the code, we must have to specify the header files. These header files are used to perform specific tasks. In C programming, we mostly use header files like hash include stdio.h and hash include conio.h. Once the header files are mentioned in the code, we must take care of the main function. The main function serves as the starting point of execution. It executes the program by calling other functions. It is like int main as shown in the video. Once the header files are mentioned in the code, we must take care of the main function. The main function serves as the starting point of execution. It executes the program by calling other functions. The main function contains the instructions to tell the computer and perform a specific task. Let's have a look at a basic example of C program. So this particular program is a simplest example designed in C programming language. You can see the red colored one is hash include stdio.h as an header file and followed by that we have a main function with integer return type and inside the function we have a simple print statement which prints a message welcome to simply learns YouTube channel. And then we have return zero, which indicates that the main function returns null value. And here you can see we have the brackets, which basically provide a structure to the main code. Now, let's have a look at some of the platforms to learn coding. And the first one in the list is SkillUp by Simply Learn. SkillUp platform is offered by Simply Learn Private Solutions Limited, which was founded in the year 2010 by Mr. Krishnakumar. It offers free online courses for those who are looking for better content. 
the main goal through skill up is to build foundational skills for career growth skill up also offers live webinars with professionals to help in the growth of technology the content delivered by skill up is easy to understand by everyone the courses from skill up mainly focus on building strong foundational skills there will be certificates issued based on performance after completing the course which holds the key benefits of choosing skill up and the next one in the list is w3 schools w3 schools is a freemium educational website for learning coding delivered by world wide web created in the year 1998 this is one of the top websites for learning coding mainly for people who are looking for more content and grip over the subject which involves beginner to advanced this platform provides a clear and neat explanation for every topic there are plenty of tasks and challenges for every topic certification is provided by w3 schools is the key feature to choose the third one in the list is hacker rank Hacker Rank is a technical company that focuses on competitive programming challenges for both consumers and businesses. It helps in hiring for other companies and helps in delivering good content. It includes Java, C++, PHP, Python, SQL, JavaScript and spans multiple computer science domains. Most of the companies are choosing Hacker Rank to hire people. It provides challenge and practice course to make it easy for people to get more command over a subject. It also provides events for hiring with a lot of vacancies. And the fourth one in the list is Geeks for Geeks. Geeks for Geeks is a computer science and non-profit organization that contains well-written, well-thought computer programs and articles. It also covers free tutorials, millions of articles, live online and classroom courses, frequent coding competitions, webinars by industry experts, internship opportunities and job opportunities. Geeks for Geeks offers various coding and development courses. This website also provides internships for working professionals. Few exercises help in learning coding without any difficulty. And the final one in the list is Code Academy. Code Academy is an American online interactive platform that offers free classes for coding on 12 different programming languages. Code Academy was founded in the year 2011 by Zach Sims and Ryan Babinski, located in New York, United States of America. Code Academy offers some free courses on some top languages like Java, Python, web development, C# Sharp, Swift and other markup languages like CSS and HTML and few other languages. Code Academy is fully loaded with real-time scenarios and projects which is relatively easy to get command over coding. The content delivered by Code Academy is pretty good and impressive. So these are a few websites that offer free courses to learn coding. Now, let's walk through learning some tips to learn coding. Before we are ready to learn coding, we just have to start coding from the basics. It helps to gain knowledge and makes it easy to concentrate. So before you are ready to learn coding, start from basics. The main problem in learning is consistency. Working daily helps gain and boost your knowledge and helps us to think logically and improve our skills. So, we have to work every day to learn coding. One of the accessible sources of learning coding and programming is online resources. There are plenty of online resources like Simply Learn, etc. These platforms are providing and helping much in learning. Practice is the best way to learn coding and programming. It takes a lot of time to represent but helps more in gaining knowledge. It helps to get good command over coding easily. So these are a few tips to learn coding now. Let's discuss on the few jobs and their responsibilities by learning coding. And we have software developer, computer systems engineer, business intelligence analyst, network administrator, computer programmer. Let's discuss these job roles and their responsibilities in brief. So the first we have software developer. Software developer is responsible for researching and designing, implementing and managing the software programs. He is also responsible for identifying and modifying existing programs. Software developers also possess different coding skills and problem solving skills. The next one in the list is computer systems engineer, a responsible for developing, testing, executing and evaluating software and computers. They are also capable of improving and integrating both software and hardware. Computer system engineers should possess project management and time management skills. And the next one in the list is business intelligence analyst. Business intelligence analyst enhances the approach and decision making of a company by using the data and past to present. They use data and work with the data to improve the business of a company or organization. To become a business intelligence analyst, you must be an expert in data analysis and programming languages like Python and C#. -sharp. The next one in the list is network administrator. Network administrator is responsible for keeping the company network and company's data secure. They should be experts in computer knowledge and possess strong problem solving skills. Network administrators are also creative and can describe the technical knowledge into easily understandable terms for the users. And the final one in the list is computer programmer. 
Computer programmers are responsible for designing and creating software programs, integrating systems and software. They also train end-to-end -end users, analyzing algorithms, modifying data source and writing system instructions, debugging and maintaining operating systems. Computer programmers should possess strong programming and problem solving skills. And this was all for today's session. I hope you guys have found it informative and interesting. If you have any queries regarding the topics covered in this session, then please feel free to let us know in the comment sections below and our team of experts will be happy to resolve all your queries. Until next time, thank you, stay safe and keep learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.